What's up everybody? I hope you are doing well, Bailey Pop here. And today I got a package from Chaz Collectibles, which I'm pretty sure is the new Todoroki Funko Pop, which has a chance of a chase. And I got a bunch of other stuff. Let's go! I did want to say really quick, I recorded most of this footage for five days ago because I was going to post on Saturday and then I chose to not post on Saturday because I needed a break to spend time with my family that had come down to visit me for the first time. But I am back. This video is a little late because I had a very full day at work, but it is here. Let's jump into it. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't already met, my name is Bailey. Nice to meet you. I enjoy creating videos about my life, but I am also a collector of all things anime, Marvel, Disney, Sanrio, and more. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure to stick around. And yes, today I have a few things to open, but I also just wanted to update you on my life because in my interest to say I enjoy making videos about my life, but I realized I've been leaning a lot more into the Funko Pop side and I want to pull out a little bit more every now and again. Currently, my family is staying with me. I mentioned that in my community post and we're having a great time. Yesterday, we went to this place called Fuzzy's Taco Shop, which the name is a little weird, but the food was really good. I got a Mahi Mahi taco plate and I got Fuzzy's rice with it. My family got a a lot of different things from there so I can definitely say across the board their menu is solid. While we were out we also went pop hunting. It was very brief but we did mainly because Dante and I both forgot that the mall that we usually go to closed an hour after we got there if even. So we only got to go to a few of the stores that we really wanted to but we got to bring them to box lunch which unfortunately I didn't get their reactions on camera mainly because I was just enjoying my time with them but they loved it. If you guys don't know what box lunch is or if you haven't been to a box lunch at least in person person. They're a sister store to Hot Topic and I think maybe Spencer's is the other store. And you can think of them as a non-goth slash emo version of Hot Topic. Their stores are immaculate in the sense of their displays are fantastic. They're phenomenal. They don't just have a bunch of stuff hanging everywhere. They really take the time to make their displays really nice. I can't say enough how much I love Box Lunch. And their merch is mainly Disney and animated movies, anime, and like Studio Ghibli. And games like Zelda and Mario and Marvel. But not only do they have like Harold and Funko Pops and statues and stuff. They also have like crock pots and waffle irons and they have a lot of lounge fly. Do you guys want a tour of my lounge fly collection? I feel like you see it a lot of the time in the background of my videos but I don't really like go into detail. It's mainly because I don't remember all of the names of everything. I just remember they're really pretty and I like them and I enjoy seeing them. But if you guys would like that let me know in the comments. But yes while we were pop hunting we did stop at Hot Topic and they had the last pop I needed to have the full complete set of the Orange Host Club pops and that is how do he in her dress. So let me grab that and let's open it. Here she is. Sorry, I realized my computer reflection is getting in the window, but let's take her out. I don't know if I've ever told you guys before, but I do have a P.O. box and like, I don't want to be weird about it, but I'm like, I, I would so love, so love to start doing some like P.O. box unboxings and stuff like that. And like the chance to interact with you guys more. But, like it also seems like weird to be like, hey, send me stuff. You know what I mean? It seems like I'm being like greedy or something and that's not the case. I just want to interact with you guys more but yeah it's always in the description of my youtube videos and it's in my link in bio for all my other platforms but oh my gosh we have Harui look at her look at that you got her shoes you got her bow or her little tie but she looks perfect and she comes to the base stand here i'll show you what it looks like on the display all right so i put the new Harui up with the rest of the set this is what it's currently looking like gonna be real. I don't love it. I did love it at first when they all matched up perfectly, but now I'm not feeling it as much, so I'm probably going to rearrange this, and I'll update you guys when that happens. We also attended Across the Spider-Verse on Thursday night, late Thursday night. Me, my sister Sophie, my dad, and Dante were up till four, five o'clock in the morning talking about it because we did watch it later in the day. We loved it. That's all I'll say about it. If you want more of our opinions, I know Dante will be posting a non-spoiler review with his Spider-Man Funko Pop video that I think he's posting on Friday which would be today I'm recording on Friday and I think he's going to be posting a spoiler review separately because it's longer I don't know what day he'll be posting that so keep an eye out for that also thank you thank you guys so much I I'm I'm freaking out because you guys are amazing. You guys got Dante into a Spider-Man suit and it's made all of my dreams come true. I can't tell you guys enough how much I love it. But when we went to see Spider-Man, I did get a poster for free at the movie. And this is like a big poster. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it in the whole frame, but it has Miles as the main Spider-Man. And then you can see there's Spider-Man 2099 and there's a bunch of other variants of Spider-Man as well. Then it has Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse on the bottom. I will figure out 
somewhere to hang this. And now I am definitely getting Miles Morales Funko Pops and a Spider Gwen. I don't know how I didn't have Spider Gwen yet. I do have comics of her though. I also kind of want the Spider Gwen lounge fly now. I gotta look into that. This movie wasn't just a great Spider-Man movie or a great Marvel movie. It was a great movie. So if you're just looking for a good quality movie that actually does its job in all of the departments, the animation, the music, the script, the direction, literally everything, the voice acting, this is one of the best movies I've seen in years. So definitely go check that out. Other than that, I got two boxes on my doorstep today and I don't know what they are. I'm guessing they're pre-orders. I don't know what they're pre-orders for. So we're gonna open them. All right, we're on the ground. Let's open the first box. Oh my gosh, guys, you wanna know what these are? These are the new Pokemon Squishmallow. And I got two for me and a few for my friends. I don't know where I wanna put these yet. But first up, we have Gengar. They are kinda of smushed vertically right now, so they aren't their usual egg-like shape. You can see his two little arms right there. He has his big smile and his eyes. And then they have a bunch of detail here on the back and his little tail. It has a very velvety feel, a lot like normal Squishmallows do. So fun fact, I never finished that video because we ended up having to go do something else, but I have a second Squishmallow to show you guys. And you guys like kind of already saw it already, but it doesn't matter. We have Pikachu. He's kind of deformed now. I gotta fix him. And he's so soft, but because I've waited so long, we have the new Chalice Collectibles thing, Todoroki. Let's open it. Also, I do want to say for anybody that I owe a giveaway to, I promise it's coming. I am just literally the worst at sending out giveaways, which is why I usually don't do them. It's not because I don't love you guys and don't appreciate you, don't want to send you guys things. It's that I am the worst at getting them out. I'm pretty sure the Loungefly one, it's been a month now and I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I keep telling her, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'll try to get it out this weekend. We got the Chalice Collectibles, Todorokis. Okay, so I open it up and I can see the back, but I don't know which version it is. So I think there's a chase, it's a glow chase. We'll have to see. This is what it looks like, by the way. I don't think you can tell which one it is from the back. All right, it's the first one, the chase. No, it came in bubble wrap. Good bubble wrap, might I add. It came in a protector and it has the new pre-release sticker that Chalice Collectibles Pops will be getting. I love this pre-release sticker idea that Chalice had. And this is my first Shoto Pop. I'm so excited. All right, let's see if I got the chase for the second one. There's the bubble wrap. Did we get the chase? No, it's okay. It's fine. I didn't need it anyway. I'm just gonna order 20 more. But it is exciting to have. I'm actually gonna open it right now. Here he is. All of his hair is white and the other side of him with his red eye is covered in ice, fully covered, except for his hand and his shoe there, you can see. And is it, it's like a harness. You guys can see that. It does look like his ink got a little messed up, but honestly, I'm not sweating it. I'm just super excited that I have it in my collection. Thank you all for watching today's video. I know I talked a lot in it, but it was nice to catch up with you guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and consider commenting and subscribing. A huge shout out to all the lovely people that follow me across all my platforms. Your love and support is what makes these videos possible. Anything to add, bud? The floor is yours. Nice. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Always remember that you are loved, you're valued, and you are enough. Bye!